All right, LCD is now attached uh, to the board. I clipped it on and strapped it on oh, four corners. Um, next step is to then see. So take this guy right here, the uh, screen part right there. Make sure you have your buttons lined up. It's extremely important because you don't want to put it all together just to find out your buttons aren't lined up. And uh, I'm going to put this right in there and screw it back down. Attach that little ribbon to my board uh, right there, you can see. And I'll show you what that looks like in a second. Okay, I just attached the <clears throat> LCD, uh, which was attached to the motherboard, back to the uh, screen side of the casing via the six uh, screws right there. Um, our next step is going to be to reattach this guy right here back into there like that. That's for the uh, buttons. It's very important otherwise your buttons aren't going to work so uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we are going to take this, which is the hard drive, 60 gig hard drive, which is what we're putting in, and we're going to uh, carefully, um, I don't know if you can see in here, but there's, let's see, turn it this way, uh, little pins, uh, let me see, I can't even see what I'm saying here, which you want to, what am I doing? You want to um, make sure to line up, and then so you want to screw the hard drive in via four, one, two, three, four uh, screws. So I'm going to do that step, and then uh, we'll be right back. All right, I uh, just finished um, plugging in the little cable and screwing down the hard drive casing. Finally, um, very last step: put in the battery, plug it into its little connector right in there, oops, uh, right in there, you can't really see it, it's kind of dark and shadowy, but right there, there you go, um, that's where that plugs in, but before you do that, a uh, good test to make sure you did everything right, is to kind of turn it over, make sure you got the buttons right, see that they all click, it looks dirty now, but it's not really, you know, I already did this, they all click, you know, everything's good, buttons were done correctly, now I can, this is the 60 gig hard drive, so I can certainly tell, you know, that there's a little give there, you know, it is it is meant for a 30 gig, so putting in a 60 gig takes up more room, and it's going to be tighter, but it should work, uh, should fit, should be fine, anyway, so um, I'm going to go ahead and install the battery, and I'll show you, and then I'll put on the, the back panel right there, and I'll show you, and then we'll be done. You'll have your new 60 gig hard drive. All right, all right, guys. So here it is. Um, unfortunately, I've concluded that the 60 gig is really just too big. It doesn't. It doesn't want to fit back together. It's just, I guess, just that micro inch of uh, space just makes it a little bit too big. I don't know. Maybe when you buy the 60 gig, it comes with a different backing, but the original backing, it just does not want to go on. It's just a little bit too big and just, it's really tight. And it's never good to put pressure on stuff. That's how you break it. So, um, yeah, it works though. Uh, I'll prove it to you. I actually, for this demonstration, I had to use, I installed it with a broken LCD. I don't know if you could tell when I was installing it, but the LCD I put in there is actually broken, but it'll still work. Uh, it's just cracked. But I'll prove to you that it works. That battery, the battery I put in the back is dead too, so it has no charge. Um, so I'll plug it in. I'll plug it in. Uh, plug it in though. Just give me a second. And when you plug it in, uh, it always turns on right away. It just shows a little uh, charging. It shows your screen. Shows it charging. So um, I'll plug this guy in right here. Give me a second. Okay, there you go. And you can see it's turned on. It's just, you can see it, the LCD is cracked. But, uh, it works otherwise. You know, um, if you can figure out how to get that backing on, 
maybe it was just maybe it's just this one that won't fit back on they say it's supposed to fit back on so maybe when you do it'll fit on um but good luck and uh peace out